Splendid Cartoon. You messed with the wrong guy, dude. That was quite intense. Are you here to give me character evaluation? No, I'm not Martin. I thought you were not in the country. I'm here for business. What are you doing here, bimbo? I just came to get a drink. And maybe a hookup to satisfy those crazy imaginations of yours, huh? What business is it to you? After all, you broke up with me, remember? So? I should get going. Do you really want to go? Are you sure one part of you isn't happy to see the one person that is ever supportive in giving you the spanking you love so much? Bimbo. Martin. My room number is 306. Don't you dare keep me waiting. Ugh! Son of the devil. What does it take me for? Hello, people! <laughs> did you miss me? Hmm. Well, I sure did. How far long can you go before you start to miss your lovers? Did you know that how much you miss a person determines how much you truly care about them? Well, we are about to explore the subject of missing a lover on tonight's show. This is still the Interactions of Relationship. My name is Ronke and I'll be right back after this show. Mabel, you realize I'm at work, Abby? Keep quiet, Jerry. Are you not on a musical break now? Wait, let me connect Bimbo. Bimbo, Alpha. Bring me Pomo Pepper Soup. Uh, you know Bimbo is the last person you should be calling by this time. Mama will just be yanning nonsense. I must have it on record that I called you guys to remind you of my baby's birthday party tomorrow. In fact, today, it's 12.30 a.m. already. Which of your baby? The small one or the big one? <laughs> Very funny. If you like, forget to bring my twins or claim one pandemic is holding you at work. Maybe I'll have heard you. I can't miss Kelma's birthday now. Uh -uh. Is Bimbo still on the line? Bimbo, are you there? Oga oh driver, stop your car and carry me to Canada. I told you Bimbo is the last person you should be calling by this time. It is a car this one wants to use to reach Canada. <laughs> this girl keeps saying the dumbest things in her sleep. Party starts by four, I beg. Friend is handsome. Mm. Mm. See, married woman, admire another man. Hey, hey. abomination. No, hey, hey. I beg, I beg. Marriage doesn't mean I'm blind. Blind about what, darling? <laughs> blind about other fine looks around. See that guy standing there. See how his muscles pop, just merely holding that drink. Just imagine those toned muscles carrying me. Mm. Oh, baby. Mm. Ah, God, wrong care. You are a case. Do you want me to talk to him for you? I don't mind, baby. 
Is your husband serious right now? <laughs> oh my god. Dozi is not serious, so. They are coming here. This lady is here, admiring your toned muzzle. So I decided to bring you to her. I can't stand seeing her salivate for nothing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Don't mind my husband, he likes to play around. Your husband? Yeah, my husband. The clown. <laughs> but your muscles are well toned, though. I actually thought he was bringing me to her. I've been admiring her from a distance and waiting for a chance to talk to her alone. <laughs> Even Mabel is married. Didn't you know you've been standing with her husband since? Seems you have a thing for married women. He's, He's talking, talking about, about you. you. Me? No, me. Sweetheart, when did you come here? Mom, when am I going to cut my cake? Now, darling, I'll be joining you soon. Don't waste so much time, Mom. It's my birthday. Not time for gisting with your friends. <sighs> I gave birth to this girl. Yes, she carries Bimbo's bad mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm the original godmother. <laughs> for your mind. <clears throat> Honey, let's go get Kelma ready to cut her cake. Daddy, I told my friend that he used to kiss mommy on her cheeks. They said it's a lie. <laughs> Why? He doubts me. Daddy, kiss mommy again. Let him see. Gladly, my princess. See, we told you. Auntie Bimbo, catch ya later. Aww. Praise and worship are something else combined. Cute children you have. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe he wasn't even looking my way. Has childbirth made me ugly now? Don't mind him. He doesn't have good taste, that's why. But you do. Of course I do. Why do you think I'm stuck with you forever? Oh, I love you, babe. I love you more. My name's Bayo. Okay. Um, I think this is the time you tell me your name. Okay, everyone, gather around. Time to cut the cake. So, she'll cut the cake after we spell Kelma. One, two, ready, go. Yay! E sad on your birthday. Talk to me. Mommy. What's wrong? Why did she run inside like that? That's what I'm trying to find out. Let me handle it. The girls are waiting outside. <sighs> okay. Bimbo, whatever it is, you can talk to your father, okay? He's not my father. He's not my father. Such nonsense will not come out of your mouth. It's fine. It will take a while to get used to me. And how long would that while take? She has no right to say such after being more than a father figure in her life. We shall continue this discussion later. See? I thought that she wouldn't believe you. You are just going to cause more problems for yourself. My husband said you refused to talk to Bayo. Did you murder him with your bad mouth or you bored him with your silent treatment? I'm not interested, I beg. Jesus, Bimbo, I've never seen you interested in any guy except for that uh, that that courtist guy in school that was killed. What's his name again, Safe? Uche. Uche. I'm so sorry that I'm just about to ask this question after our years of friendship, but I beg, better late than never. Bimbo, are you straight? <laughs> no, she's bent though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm serious so. But I'm serious too. She is bent in the sense that it is only bad boys she's attracted to. Or have you forgotten Tunde? You guys are talking about me as if I'm not here. See, Tunde is past tense. Give that guy a small chance now. Chai, 
See fine and toned muscular guy interested in you and you're forming uninterested. Hi! Holy Ghost fire. Maybe she has spirit husband. <laughs> ah, I, I, I still think she's not straight. Have you thought of any of us like yeah, as, you know, yeah. Okay, my time here is done. I want conspiracy theory sushi. Okay, <laughs> one knot is out of place in your skull. Sweetheart, the children are already looking tired. I think we should get going. Oh, thanks for coming, guys. Praise and worship. Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. Right? Praise. Right. Bye, Kilma. Bye. And the winner of the relay race competition for this year's Nuga Games is Moshu Abiola University. Represented by... Tunde! Man, this Tunde guy is hot too. Ah, ah. I beg, remove your mind. I heard the guy has a reputation for being a gang member. Really? Yes. I even heard he assaults his ladies. You know, Tinuke used to date him. He beats her to pop anytime he feels she misbehaves. Hm. So, don't look at any hotness, I beg. His hotness can burn. Congratulations! You made our school proud! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! How did you do it? Did this muscles help? Well, training helps the muscles to help me, I guess. You must be really strong then. Hey, I am! Can I have your number? I might need some training sessions soon. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Uh, mm, gladly. Let me have your phone. Take care of your hot self. Whatever. I always do anyway. Wait now. The guy is fine. Uh -uh. But I told you it's not about fine. He's a notorious player and bad boy. When we get to that bridge, we will cross it, Jerry. Welcome. I thought you'd be here earlier. I thought so too. But I'm here now. Mm, nice apartment. Thanks. I am just trying to live the life. So what would you like to have? Any soft drinks would do. What about me? Would I do as well? Mm? Mm? Wait now. I think this is the stage we try to know each other. There is no time to know each other, Jari. Ah, let's just keep the protocol and get straight to the point. Not now, now wait. Ah, ah what is that, self now? Nah? I am trying to be a gentleman, and you are doing mushy mushy for me, ah? Huh? Well, it is you that carry yourself to my house, oh. Do the leaf for yourself, except you want me to help you with it. Ah, <laughs> why are you smiling? I just like how you say, do the needful. Hello, that by your guy. You can give him my number. Hello? Hello, Bimbo. You didn't even waste time. I'm glad you know my voice already. I'm glad you know my name already. Knew that from the moment I saw you. <laughs> I didn't know you were a prophet. I definitely asked of your name when I saw you. Hmm. Really? Yes. Then why ask for my name? Conversation starter. Oh. So why did you change your mind? You were so cold towards me at the party. You're not happy I changed my mind? I'm glad. Just curious. Well... They say change is the only constant thing. Doesn't mean it shouldn't come with reasons. Well, I thought in the direction of what's there to lose. And what was your answer? This is sounding like an interview session. No, I'm currently feeling like I have more to prove to disprove your reason for considering me. What's there to lose? Yeah, that. I wouldn't want you to be with me because you think what's there to lose. Who says I'm going to be with you? 
then why are we talking right now I definitely didn't want your number because I want to be just friends or do networking business with you hmm networking is not bad true not bad as long as it's our heart that is forming the network <laughs> stop being stupid why if it makes you laugh hmm you're very fast on these your lover boy things though we are both adults let's meet bimbo when do you think you'll be free waiter please give us fried rice and chicken and two bottles of drinks that's not what i want but it's something that is fair for both of us well it's not what i want i invited you out it's only fair i decide what to offer you according to my pocket you inviting me out is more reason why you should let me have a say in what i want to order why would you decide what i should eat because you women have the habit of taking an arm when you are offered a hand you know what this date was a mistake forget i brought myself here hold on hold on please <laughs> come back here you swine <laughs> Next time when I tell you to do something, you obey me. What? Bimbo, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't plan for tonight to go this way. Please give me another chance to make it right. I don't know about another chance. I know I messed up and I don't deserve another chance. Thank God you know. So let's end this soppy conversation. Hello, Ojo. The allowance she sent me is too small, Lo. God, is that why you're calling me by this time of the night? Is time supposed to be a problem in something that has to do with your child? The allowance I sent is what I have been sending since. How come it's suddenly too small? Things are now expensive, oh. Fine, fine. I'll do something about it. Can I go back to sleep now? Of course. Ha. Hello? Hello, father of my child. What is it? See, I'm very sorry to wake you up by this time. But your child is grown and you cannot expect the same allowance you've been sending to continue to cater to the increasing needs. Ha. <sighs> you two want increased allowance. Okay, fine. I will see to it. Please, don't call me by this time again. Hey, hey, hey. Yes? Oh, your darling. Who is your darling? Is witchcraft the common thing between you women that you have to choose this time to call me? Sorry, but I just want to tell you that you have to increase the allowance. Do you know the cost of things in the market now? Everything is now expensive. Wait. So, all of a sudden, prices have skyrocketed. You know what? Send me the list of things my child needs, and I will go and get it. Ah, uh ah! -uh. That's not how these things work, oh. 
That is how it will start working from now on. I am not your money making factory. Hello? From now on, send me the list of things my child needs. I will get them myself and deliver. What? You can't! Hello? Uh -huh. Send me the list of things my child needs. I will get them myself and deliver. When did that one start? Nobody will kill me before my time. Oh, wow. Bimbo, you've been talking about everything but your date with the hotshot guy. Who is hotshot? Stop pretending not to know that buyer is fine, I beg. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, I beg. Yet, there are universal beauties and we know that buyer is one of those. So what's the problem? Well, it's too cool, I beg. Being cool is a problem for you? Like, after the nonsense he did on the date, I expected him to defend his stand or something. Rather, he's calling to apologize and beg for a second chance. Like, yuck! Blah. Can you hear yourself right now? You're pissed that he apologized to you? You don't get. Being apologetic is just a sign that he's too soft for me. I want my man hard, strong, opinionated, and stands on his word. I want to be in the right, no matter what. In other words, you want a man that would disrespect you. No. Oh. Anyway, I don't expect you to understand. Hmm. But I really think you should give this guy a try, though. He seems genuinely interested in you. Maybe if you get to know him, he might be your spec in some little ways. Oh, fine. Can we change the topic now? I'm saying my own that I don't think being boy is straight. What is better than the topic of finding true love, Bikonu? Abi, shift my hear what? You can say that after trying to find yourself first, Abi. <laughs> but not true. Those days of, I need to find myself first before man. Now, she's singing, what's better than finding true love? Dozy has blocked her brain with love now. Would you blame her? <laughs> Um, you you girls should stay in context, I beg. Let's face Bimbo and her weird idea of her kind of man. Praise and worship, will you stop that at once? Oh God! I thought I knew that voice. Oh, hi. Ahmed's sister. Aminat is the name, not Ahmed's sister. I choose to remember you as Ahmed's sister. Hmm. Anyway, are these your adopted children? They are my children. That you adopted, right? That I bore out of me. Oh, I see. True IVF then, because we both know with your past. With my past what, huh? You want to try to finish this sentence and have your face on the floor? Why so feisty? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I really am because I shouldn't have gone into an outburst like that because it's not your fault that your mind cannot comprehend how God will choose to bless me with my two beautiful babies despite my past as you so tried to remind me. But he did. I have them. They are mine and from me, naturally. So you can eat your head while trying to process that. My regards to her, Matt. <laughs> Oh, 
What's wrong, Oni? I just got insulted by that girl for not having a child. I have told you not to bother about these things. See, children will come when they want to come. It's easy for you to say. You are not the one your mother is haunting. Just ignore my mother. Please, just drive. Mommy? Yes, darling? What's an IVF? In vitro fertilization, darling. In simple terms, it's a process of fertilization where an egg is combined with sperm outside the body to produce a baby. What is a sperm? A, um, a, you know, a, a, a kind of um, um, fluid that uh, it comes out of a man that hatches the egg in a woman that creates a baby. So, the eggs they you? Yes. And daddy poured his fluid on your eggs and we were asked? <coughs> um, <coughs> That's pretty much how it goes in simple terms. What's the difficult term? <laughs> Who wants ice cream? Me, 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 me. Bio has been all about Bimbo, calling and begging. He's hoping you could help talk to her to reconsider giving him a second chance. Hmm. Bimbo's idea of her man is not the kind that begs. She feels if he's convinced he wants something, he should go get it, not beg for it. I don't understand. Darling, just tell your friend to apply some bit of aggression to his approach. She just might give him her attention. Mm hmm? Mommy, I don't know what is wrong with me. Why can't I have a child? My mother in you know, keeps making life miserable for me with her insults. Hmm. What is your husband saying about this? That one keeps acting unbothered, saying I shouldn't bother about it. He's even too cool for my liking. You should be happy. Your husband is supportive. Hmm. But have you both checked at the hospital? Yes, we have. And the doctor said I am fine. Can you believe that even Ronke has two kids already? Who is Ronke? That girl that brother Hamed wanted to marry. But we discouraged him because she had several abortions in the past. Maybe she adopted them. She said she didn't. Forget her. She even insulted me. Forget her. She's not God. You will have your children in God's time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> So this is the time you come back, eh? When will you have time to produce children for my son when you come back home by this time? Um, mommy, I didn't know you were coming. I went over to my mom's place. So it is your mother that will provide the solution to your barrenness, Abby? Instead of you to have sense and sit in your husband's house and do the right thing that will create baby, you are busy spending so much time with your mother. Mommy, I... Well, it is obvious you lack home training. Otherwise, you would have known where your priority lies. Am I the one that was supposed to serve your husband's dinner? How are we even sure that you are even coming from your mother's place, Seth? Ah, it's my mother's place I'm coming from. I've told you to get yourself another wife home. If you cannot find one, I will help you find one. It is not as if you are not capable of taking care of three wives at once. <coughs> uh, Mom, that's enough. You shouldn't talk to her that way. Look at her. Rubbish. Don't let my food waste too. Better come and eat it. Why couldn't you say anything when she was laying all those insults and allegations against me? What could I have said? Insult my own mother? <laughs> I have told you not to let those things she says get to you. You know you are so useless. What kind of man are you that cannot stand up to his mother for the wife that he claims to love? It is me you are calling useless. Useless doesn't qualify you. Coward is more like it. You are a coward. You know, I should bring in another woman here. 
Perhaps your foul mouth will be humbled. Hmm, I knew it. I knew you would be looking for a way to marry another wife. And this issue of childlessness just gave you the perfect excuse to do that. You see, I am not even concerned about whether we have a child or not. I am more concerned with your attitude. Your attitude sucks. The manner you talk to me is appalling. You don't even have manners. Before you call me another name, I am hungry and I was just about to dig into food before you entered. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm still asking for a second chance, Bimbo. And I said no. Mabel said she likes her guys fame about what they want. What's the term she used to... Aggressive, yes, aggressive. She likes them aggressive. What does that even mean? I said you should get into the car, you piece of dirty trash that is full of nothing but ugly smell. I... I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. I didn't mean to. I just want to have a date with you. I know you better. Do you want me to drive? Huh? You'd be responsible for bringing me to work tomorrow, since I'm leaving my car here. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Watch where you are going next time. Oh, Joe! Sorry, I can't seem to recognize you. Of course! Why would the popular guy in Moshud Abiola University know me? I was in the same band as that Yoronke. Oh, I think the face is beginning to look familiar to me. What a small word. You look more handsome. I mean, you look good. Thank you. Uh, you don't look bad yourself. You don't have to return the compliments. It's not as if you know what I look like before. Uh, are you done shopping? Eh, uh, yes. I was just about going to the counter. Let's go then. I would handle that. Did you bring a car? No. So how do you plan on carrying all these items? It's not much now. I can always take the public bus or... What direction are you taking? I am going in different directions, but starting with Dalimo side. I'm going towards that side too. Oh, okay. Let me drop you off. Your wife is so lucky. Not a lot of men like doing their children's shopping. Who says I am married? I thought, I mean, you had a lot of children's stuff in your cart. And I just assumed. I am not married, but I am a father of three kids from three different mothers. Whoa, your campus reputation followed you out. I see. <laughs> unfortunately, but I am no longer that kind of person. Why did you say unfortunately? And because the lifestyle that earned me the reputation made me lose a very valuable person in my life. Hmm. I lost Ronke. Anyway, that's in the past now. And I'm sure if you guys were meant to be, you would have ended up together. I doubt the universe works that way though. Sometimes we have to work hard to get and keep what we want. I am glad she is in a better place now. Room care. Anyway, how is work? Did you join your father's company? Yes. Impressive. So, what do you do? Um, I just do all this online stuff, Sha. Stuff like? 
I just write anonymously for some blogs. Oh, that might not be able to pay much. Not by your standards. <laughs> you don't even know what my standard is. I might have a pretty good idea of the number of zeros attached. <laughs> uh, where exactly did you say you want to stop? And uh, here is fine. It was nice meeting you. Same here. And... Um, <clears throat> if you don't mind, can I have your number so we can chat? Of course. All right, I will get in touch. Oh my God, who would ever believe this day would come? Ojo collected my number, Ojo and I in the same space, and he talked to me. Dreams do come true eventually. Take me to do well supermarket. Joe, you came to watch our band. I didn't know you'd be interested in such things as a musical band concert. And who are you to think you know me? Anyway, I just want to see that beautiful lead singer and you are in my way. Um, did you like the concert? If you want to interview me, book an appointment. Otherwise, I don't have time for you. Now I guess you'd have my time now. So, how did I do today? Um, you tried. Won't you come in? Uh, I should, like, I, um, yeah, yeah, yes, I'm coming in. Nice apartment you have. Thank you. It's expected considering your expertise in interior decors. I shouldn't be too wild. There are other things I know how to decorate that I'd like to show you. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Bimbo, wait, oh, hold on, hold on. What? Don't you think we should take it slow? No, I like it aggressive. You can't handle it. Do you want to leave? No, I can handle anything. I'm liquid metal. I'm in the booth. Slap me here. 
Yes. Again. And harder. Yeah. Are we doing do? Are we fighting? No. That's how you do it with me. Again from the top. And you should insult me in between. You moronic fish brain swine of an idiot. Why wouldn't he call me now? Now that I have gotten this close to him, I mustn't let him slip off my fingers. Welcome, dear. Thank you. Won't you have a hug to the welcome? Why do you look so sad? I am not. You don't look happy. Is it about my mother? But, but she's gone now. It's not your mother. I'm fine. Just tired. Let me serve your food. Hello. Yes, so I, I just got home. I'm really tired. Yeah, she's going to set dinner for me. I don't know how to tell her that I have had my stomach filled already. I don't know how else to explain it to them. Humans are just something else. They are just stressing the hell out of me. But I will see what I can do about it. Okay now, bye. What was that about? It's just about some staff giving me stress from work. You hire a person who says with his full chest that he can do a job only to start teaching them the job after they are hired. What the hell is all that? Hmm. Sorry. Your food is on the table. Okay. Thank you. My phone, please. Hmm. He was busy using soft voice, and once I entered, he switched to another pitch. Oh, Joe. Or should I call him? He didn't even give me his number. What kind of torture is this? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. Hey. Gee, I hope you're feeling better. <clears throat> this is such an awkward situation. I don't even know what to say. But I am glad you both are fine. Please, can you just tell Bimbo to leave? Bayo. Please, just leave, I beg. I'm, I'm really sorry, Bayo. See where love has landed me. All I wanted was to know her better. Um, you have known her now to a very large extent. Mm, sorry, huh? Fine. I know you both have a lot of questions. Who wants to go first? Have you always... Is this... Is this... What's this? <sighs> Mabel, go first. Is this like your own way of expressing yourself in that, you know line yes why how do you derive satisfaction from being hit during intercourse like where is the satisfaction in the idea of intercourse when it is mixed with pain how did this idea even enter your head in the first place were you just trying to act out a fantasy or what i can't believe this look at your face look at what you did to bio the guy just wanted to please you He's not even an aggressive person by nature he said he had to act rude to you before you gave him a second chance how? I mean, why? Enough! You guys ought to be my friends and not be my judge. <sighs> Bimbo, I'm sorry. This is just shocking. It's not my intention to judge. Listen, I can't explain why and I won't be compelled to discuss this further. But I am only attracted to a particular kind of men. Aggressive, rough, tough. In summary, bad boys. Yes, right. No wonder. I always wondered what you saw in Tunde and why you had a crush on Uche. But why? It's not normal. I said I don't know. It's just my thing, just like Ron Care falls for romantic guys. It's the same way I fall for bad guys. It's not the same thing. This. I said I don't know why, and I won't be compelled to discuss this further. Send my sincere apologies to Bayo. <sighs> Come on, Bimbo. You can talk to us now. 
Okay. Uh, why don't we come hang out at your place this evening? Busy. Tomorrow evening? Also busy. We promise we won't talk about this. Fine. This evening. As long as we're not talking about this. Deal. In between. Ronke, could you drop me off at work? Paya came to pick me up at work and, well, he was supposed to drop me off this morning, but then this happened and... I will drop you off. Let's go. But are you sure you want to work with that face? I just need my car. Thanks. Don't even think of bringing it up. Yes, ma'am. I will try my possible best to shut the hell up. You better. Oh, yeah. Enter your car and start going home. What thing happen now? Did I tell you I need a mother in you? Say whatever you like. I know you. You can like to start work like this. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Sally. I thought you wouldn't be coming to work today. Yes, I just came to pick up my car. Who is the man there? Oh, yeah. Why do you keep staring at your phone like you want it to suddenly speak to you? I didn't realize I was staring. Your mind is far away. What are you thinking about? Nothing that concerns you. Even when I want to be a loving husband, you just throw spite at me. What did I do now? How does my thought affect you? Just listen to yourself. If this marriage were to be like the proper definition of a marriage, would you be asking me that question? Look, I don't have strength for any argument this morning. Just go to your work in peace, Abek. Okay. <laughs> Just take this to sort out whatever you need. This one thinks it's only money that makes one happy, Abby. So hell with whatever. I'm sending a DM now. What? He doesn't even remember me. It is by Ronke he remembers me. Nonsense. Okay, he had to check my profile. Now what? Hello? Hi, I'm Inat. Oh, Joe? Yeah, I am sorry I didn't call you earlier. I have been quite busy. Oh, I just thought you weren't interested in talking with me. Like the first time I tried talking with you. At Do Well Supermarket? The first time I tried talking to you was the first time your room kept performed. You were so rude to me. You just brushed me off. Ah, <sighs> I can imagine. I was something else back in school. I am so sorry. It's fine. No, it's not. I know how I was then. If I had a chance to make it up to the people I have been mean to, 
I would. So you plan on making it up to me? Uh, yeah. How? Do you have any idea? How about we start with lunch, maybe? Hmm, nice idea. So? Lunch then, tomorrow? Tomorrow is fine. Shibu restaurant. Alright, I can't wait to experience this changed Ojo. <laughs> I will try my best to convince you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, are you at work now? Yes. Let me go then. I don't want to interrupt your busy schedule. Who said I am busy? <laughs> so, what are you doing now? At my desk, talking to you. Okay. So, what were you doing before I reached out? Nothing much. Just going over some documents. So, you were busy? Not too busy to build something. Build what? Build friendship. Oh. Yeah. Just friendship. You have room for more? Depends on your definition of more. I thought you might be in a relationship. But you didn't ask. Why assume? Are you in a relationship? No. Are you? I mean, are you serious with any of your baby mamas? Or serious with someone else? None. Why? You are obviously in a good place to take care of a woman. Well, relationships are beyond the ability to take care of um, a woman, don't you think? Well, a woman just wants to be taken care of, basically. Is that what you want? Well, there are other things that should be involved. Other things like... Perhaps we should save it for our lunch date. Date? Hmm, I think I like the sound of that. <laughs> the designs here are lovely, but I still haven't seen that specific design I want for my own. Okay, um, what design do you have in mind? I want something that's archaic, with a modern feel, and something that speaks of warmth and ruggedness. Classy, yet a rural outline. You know, something that resonates with the city life, but still manages to maintain its only root. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I know you don't. I'm sorry, you know, I can be a little bit dramatic. It's fine. Sometimes clients can be very detailed about what they want. I feel you might understand better if you see the house. Okay then, fix a day and I'll bring my team along to check it out. No, you will come alone. I don't like crowds. Just to accumulate diverse perspective, you know. Call me tomorrow by noon. I'll send you the address. Again. I eat crowd. Wow! This guy is the son of Senator Adelaide of Petfield Oil and Gas and CEO of D and Co PR Company. This is a big fish for my business, so. I hope I have been able to convince you and not confuse you that I am a changed man. Says who? You've not convinced me, who? Ha! What do you want me to do to convince you? A second date, perhaps. <laughs> I mean not. I really want to make it right. And you do seem like a nice person. But I am not sure I want something serious. Yet. Who is talking about something serious? I thought... I, I, I mean... You kept mentioning dates. See, I like you back there in school. But you went after wrong care. And I had to back off. Not like you even noticed me self. I am sorry. It just feels good to have this moment with you. But if we are not having the same vibe, it's okay. You could be a good friend. Friendship is also good. Adelia's son of Petfree Oil and Gas was right beside me in my office. Ah, I am made already. Why are you extremely excited? He's just a son of the Adelia, not the Adelia himself. See this Hetao. As long as I have come in contact with his blood, I have met Adele already. Kill yourself! So, what did he want? What else? He has a house to furnish and decorate. So, why are you now sounding like you're tripping? He's just a customer. A big customer. There is a difference. Shall I invite us when you begin riding in the same jet with the Adeleas? Call you, call. Will you be there when I'm trying to convince him that my company is the best to handle his interior decoration? Anyway, how is Bayo? He's fine. He will be discharged this evening though. My husband will be there to pick him up. Do you wish to see him again? I do not wish to see her again, I beg. 
She will be the death of me. That girl needs... Someone like himself. Not me. I'm not for him. I beg, before I kill somebody soon. What? You said we shouldn't... Talk about whatever is bothering you. Why do you always look so sad these days? You know you can tell me anything. Is anybody disturbing you? Yes. At school? No. Where then? Home. The neighbors? I swear I will kill any one of them who dares make you into this sad looking child. Who is the person? It's not the neighbor, mommy. It's Mr. Williams, mommy. Where is Mr. Williams? Which house? This house. Your father? My stepfather. I have told you to refer to him as your father. He has been more than a father to you. Exactly. He has been more than a father to me. He is an epitome of monstrosity to me. You should never speak of him in such manner again. He is still your father no matter what he does to you that you think is wrong. We would be on the streets without his help. Have you seen any of your father's people ask about your welfare since he died? Now, whatever wrong monstrosity you think he is giving to you, you will take it and enjoy it because he is doing it out of love for you. You will not speak ill of him again. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. But I don't think you... Understand. Talking does absolutely nothing. See, let's just talk about something else. Last, last, it's not everyone that is meant to get married. But everyone deserves to be loved. And I have the love right here with you two. And that is enough for me. Aww. <laughs> okay. So this doesn't have to be a soppy hangout, I beg. I have one alcohol in the fridge. Let me bring it. Yes, since I had Kelma, I haven't even had a sip. As if you drink before. But I used to see part of my hobby's drink now. Uh -uh. It doesn't count. You know me, I can't drink. I still have to work, remember? Oh, yeah, that's true. You shall have a sip at least and watch us get drunk. And have to be Mabel's driver, Abby. I beg me, Ben, that's more you go drink, oh. Shoo. Many people think of pain and play as deeply incompatible, but you'd be surprised or not at the fact that there are people who have made these two contrasting elements to go together. Why do you think some people enjoy experiencing pain during play? The phone lines are open if you'd like to get in on the conversation or share your personal experience if you belong to the school of action. We have a caller. Hello? Hello, Ronke. What normal person would want to get slapped or chained and the likes for something that is meant to be pleasurable? <laughs> oh, Chineke, there is a uh, most often an underlying issue in these things. I do not think it is normal, I beg. This play is meant to be enjoyed and uh, pain is not a symbol for enjoyment at all. You have go? Hmm, pain is not a symbol for enjoyment. We have another caller. Hello, what's your name? My name is James. I met this girl, Ayomide. You actually don't need to tell us the name of the girl. <laughs> Sorry. So here I was, feeling like I had done the most satisfying job in the world, only for her to tell me I had done nothing. The next thing she was saying, choke me, slap me, hit me, bite me. It was obvious she was enjoying this act as she kept on singing with pleasure. Wow. See eh, Runke, there are a lot of people who find satisfaction in the mixture of pain and pleasure. Problem is that people who admit to it often face stigma because society always rejects anything absurd. Thanks for calling and sharing. Now, I understand that the art of choice is what guides and individualizes us as humans. But there are always backgrounds, right? I don't know if that word fits. Background. Foundations? Yeah. Let's use foundations. There are always foundations to the things we eventually choose. So, what kind of foundation could possibly make one choose this kind of style? It's mysterious? I don't know, but let's hear your take on this. Hello, Ronke. I like to be anonymous. 
Is that okay? Yes, please. Go ahead. I love rough play. There's nothing that can be satisfying as that. For me, it's a form of escapism from the harsh reality of life. But being beaten is harsh as well. Yes. But the difference this time is that I'm in control of the harshness. I choose when I want to get it. Where I want it as opposed to life just eating me when she pleases. And when I least expect it. But, but how did you discover this method? This... This means, um, this, uh, you know, this. How did you discover this? Well, for me, I think it started with my... Hello? Hello? Ugh, I think we lost the call. Oh my, I really wanted to hear that story. Please try to call again. The show is still interactions and relationships and today we are talking about pain and pleasure, dancing together to please the body. Hmm. Huh weird just trying to imagine someone combining rice and yam and draw soup with bitter leaf soup then decides out of the blues to add pap to it mm. anyway i know it's something that people do but it still doesn't remove the fact that it is weird please call in and let us know what you think i'll be back after the short break Thank you, my precious darlings. Off to school, yeah? Yes, mommy. <laughs> How was work? It was good. Really tired and hungry. I left some breakfast for you. Just have your bath. Eat and settle in bed, okay? Oh, thanks, darling. You're the best. Really? You are the one who is the best. No, 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 I'm serious. You are the absolute best. Baby, you are all the best in the world. Baby, I'm serious. <laughs> you are more best. Can you both hurry up your love? I don't want to be late to school, lovebirds. <laughs> is it your parents you are calling lovebirds? What happened to mommy and daddy? It got lost in the midst of all the you're the best. No, you're the best. <laughs> May God help us with what these kids pick from us. They will be fine. I think we're doing a good job. Because I have the best by my side. I won! I get to have the last word on the best topic. <laughs> Baby, you could consider asking for a leave. I think we need a vacation, just the two of us. Hmm. What do you have in mind? It's up to you. Let's evaluate our account balance first. Hmm? It doesn't matter what our account balance says, honey. Really? Why? Because the best woman in the world deserves the best. <laughs> I get to have the last word on that subject. I won. You are always the best, baby. I love you. We'll talk more about our vacation later, babe. <laughs> I love you too, darling. Bye! To your face. What? Um, I mean the mark on your face. How did you get it? <laughs> it? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little accident. Now, I think I'd have to create a design board for this house. Do you mind me taking pictures? No, I don't mind. I could also send you the architectural layout. Oh, that would be great. Your house is so big. I'm sure by the time I'm done with it, it will look really ravishing according to taste. I look forward to that. 
How did you hear about me? Instagram was scrolling past when I saw your sponsored hard. Oh, wow. Yeah. Your family must be so excited to move in. It's just me. In this big house? Well, it was supposed to be me and my girlfriend. Wow, nice. She was supposed to be the one to handle the interior, but we fell out. Fell out, Bao? You mean you guys broke up? Yes. So, it's just me now. Hmm. Well, I will do my best to create the designs and forward it to you. If you like it, my company will send you the bill. I expect not a mess. That thing must be so interesting for you not to have noticed my presence. Ah uh ah, -uh. when did you come back? Who was keeping you so focused on your phone? Just all these comic videos on Instagram, Jerry. Welcome. How was work? Work was fine. What did you do today? Nothing much. Let me serve you your dinner. Hello there. Hope you got home safely. I had a swell time with you there. I just can't wait to see you again. Alright. Talk to you later then. Dinner is served. Okay, I'll be at the table soon. Hello, Bayo. Yes? You're still mad at me. I am so sorry, Bayo. It wasn't my intention to hurt you, I swear. I have heard you. Please, can we meet? I don't know about that. Please. It doesn't have to be in my house. Okay. I just needed to find a way to apologize in person since the episode at the hospital. I hope you feel better now. I'm fine. I liked you, you know. You are not talking in past tense. I can't be what I'm not, bimbo. I have no right to ask that of anybody. I want to be able to show my lady love with reckless abandon, but not like this. Why? How? It's just one of those things life bestows on people, I guess. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, I wish you the best, though. Cause, I mean, I... I just can't. Bimbo, I see you when I see you. Bimbo, you and Tunde. What? He's my spec, don't judge. Hey, <laughs> look at this guy, you. <laughs> he forgot his boxers. So, your spec is someone that is rough, has a bad reputation on campus, and can comfortably wear trousers without boxers. Maybe. What's up? I want to make noodles. Want some? Dad, you didn't tell me you were coming. I just wanted to pay a surprise visit. I have been seeing the impressive report from this branch and I had to come in person to say I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. I am grateful for the opportunity you gave me to make it right again. And I am glad you are using it well. Now I can comfortably beat my chest and say you are capable to handle this business in my absence. Thank you, sir. A man who has attained this level should begin to think of settling down. To avoid being caught in any controversy like the last one, you need to settle down. It's in my plan, sir. So, which of the baby mamas are you choosing to settle with? Far from them. I am still on the lookout, sir. Okay. Take your time, but don't waste time. Yes, sir. I will take my leave now. Keep up the good job. Yes, sir. Hello, Joe. Hey, I'm Minot. What's up? I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah. What are you up to today? 
I'm just here with my laptop writing for my client. Okay, when do you think you would be through? I cannot be through today. Why? Nothing. I just want to see you. Perhaps I can come to your place if you tell me where. Um, why come to my place when I can easily come to yours? I don't want to stress you. It's not any stress, dear. Dear, I like the way you call me dear. <laughs> I will send someone to pick you up. Just tell me the address. No, no, don't bother. Just tell me your place. Okay, I'll text you. All right, then. When should I expect you? Because I am at work now. It has to be by noon, though, because I have to get back home and attend to some things. Okay, then. I will be home by then to prepare for you. But it would be easier for you if I just pick you up and we go together. Don't worry about me. Just go and prepare for me. All right, then. But why did you change your mind? About... You said you didn't want to be in a serious relationship. I said I didn't want to date. But a man's mind can change, though. Hmm. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. Wow, this is great, but you're not there yet. Hmm, who painted this interior idea to you? My ex. Don't you think you should revisit that decision considering you guys are no longer together? Are you in a relationship? No. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Depends on your definition of relationship. Serious, committed relationship with someone you love and care about and also make plans with. No. Then I can't have this conversation with you. Hmm. Okay. Okay then, but I might understand clearly what you want if you let me understand where your concept is coming from. Um, stories are one way to better explain feelings and thoughts. And you know, imaginations. I think showing you is a better way of explaining things. Don't you think? I don't think you can show me in the way that I would want. Try me. I think you are playing with me. How? I don't know, but whenever we're saying something serious, that's when you go off chat and leave me hanging. But you made a point that you don't want anything serious. So whenever our conversation are drifting towards that angle, I always feel you are the one playing with me, especially since you know my stand with you. <sighs> I mean not. I'm not playing with you right now. I would like to be serious with you, but I need to know if you can be serious with me. I have had my fair share of dramas, and I am done with that life. Hmm. Oh, Joe, I have always wanted you. This moment right here is something I have never even imagined would happen. I hope this is enough to tell you how serious I am. <sighs> how was that, huh? Not bad. What? All that frolicking and motion graphics I did in your body is what you called? Not bad. <laughs> I told you, you might not be able to show me. You were too soft. Anyway, let's keep it strictly professional next time as this isn't worth me losing this deal over. Ah! Is that what you were looking for? Very smart. You figured. Very well then. Let the satisfaction begin. It's a wonder the way I don't meet you at home these days. I was bored and decided to go and hang out with some friends. I see. Uh, perhaps one day, these your friends can visit you and I will get to see them. Perhaps. What would you like to eat? Where is your ring? Huh? Your wedding ring. Oh, um, it's inside my bag. Why? 
I needed to help wash the dishes at her place, so I had to remove it. Eh uh hey, -huh. but why stress? The ring is real gold now. You seem to use every chance you have to remind me of that. Why do you look for an opportunity to create a quarrel? Oh, now I'm the one who likes quarrel, Abby. Forget what I said earlier. I don't want us to quarrel. This one you are drawing closer to me today. Did you win a contract? Um, perhaps we can try making a baby today. Did you have a visitor? Huh? I can see two glass cups on the dresser. Oh! Dauda, my business partner came around. And he... Shh! Don't think too much. A complete package. Oh my god, I think I'm in love already. Gosh, Whew. hey babe, girlfriend, what's up? This one, you're sounding excited. What's going on? Nothing much. How you day? I do. I wanted to tell you that um, Dozi and I will be going for a month vacation in Dubai, we'll be leaving next week. Really. Wow, that's cool. What about praise and worship? My mother will be coming over to stay with them. Alright girl, that's a nice one. Better don't come back empty handed though. I need a new bag. All the money you're making off your big shots client, Dixon Adele. You never do. I beg, I beg, I beg. When did that make your own gift invalid? Besides, I've not even gotten any pay from the guy, Sef. Okay, I've gotten one type of pay, Sha. Which one is one type of pay? Whoa, just buy me a bag. Eh, that one is not a problem. Even if it's a sack, bag na bag, Abby. And you think you will have peace when you come back? <laughs> have a lovely night, babe. Bye. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, there's a lady here to see you. She says she was sent by Mr. Dixon at the lawyer. Let her in. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Dixon didn't tell me anything about anyone coming in today. Well, I was told to take over all communication about the project you're handling for him. Really? Yes. So, where are you in the grand scheme of things? Excuse me. Hello, Dixon. What's the meaning of this? I take it that you've seen Abigail, my PA. Why? Are you trying to avoid me? Bimbo, I... And here I was, thinking you were man enough. Little did I know that you were just a coward. Is this the best way you can think to handle this? Bimbo, it's not... You better call your PA and tell her to get lost this minute. Unless you want me to do it myself. I am giving you a minute to do so. So, I asked a question about your progress with Mr. Dixon's project. Please, pick your call. Hello? Okay. Are you sure about this? Alright. It appears I'd be leaving you for now. Whatever. <laughs> you know, you don't have to sound so hostile. Mr. Dixon should just be a client. I advise you to stick with the job description. Have a good day. What the hell? What the hell was all that about? Sending your slutty PA to tell me off? Is that your style? First of all, you have no right to insult Abigail. Secondly, Bimbo, calm down. Calm down? Okay. I am calm. I was trying to avoid you for my own sake. You did nothing wrong. 
What are you talking about? <sighs> I never told you about my last relationship. Now, you're going to say you've not gotten over her. Dixon, I am not saying we should put a label to what we have or had. Just listen, Bimbo. When we got down, it brought back the very thing I'm trying to run away from. Which is? My last relationship ended because I couldn't feel satisfied with just pleasure. I desired the infusion of pain in it. At first, Tonya tried to cope with me, but when I proposed to her and she said no, that was when I realized the idea of being with me in a long-term relationship is what she detested. I always had to instigate or teach my partners how to please me. To be honest, I was attracted to you the first time I saw you. Gosh, your perfume followed me home after our first meeting at your office and we didn't even hug. I used a Lillian Jones perfume though. The smell can fill up a room and leave you lingering in a place even after your presence is gone. Uh, I'm, I'm doing Lynn. Please continue. But I realized the attraction was more when we got down. Bimbo, the way we did, I'm trying to move away from that. I thought to some extent I had succeeded until I met you. I just thought you were going to draw me back from all the progress I've made so far. I don't want to go back there to hurting my partner and finding pleasure in being hot. I admit I didn't do right by sending my PA to you, but it was what I could think of at the time. <coughs> I feel you should have just told me. I'm sorry. I understand. I wouldn't want you to go three steps back because of me when you've achieved one step forward. I think we should end the business relationship altogether. We, we don't have to. It was nice doing business with you. <sighs> Do not cry, Bimbo. Do not try to cry. Don't cry. You mustn't cry. You mustn't cry. Do not cry. Life is full of pain, like this one, and you must learn to toughen up. So you know you are inflicting pain on me. I'm only preparing you for what life has ahead. It is important to find a way to find pleasure in every pain. So, do not cry. <laughs> Bimbo, what happened to you? Why are you on the floor? Who tore your clothes? Honey, welcome. I think you need to caution this girl. Imagine her engaging in a fight with all these street boys. Eh? Bimbo fighting? Not under my roof. <laughs> this girl is not mad though. Just leave her alone. I thought she has gotten enough beauty from the boy already. Just look at that. If you think it is in my house that you will become an Adderu, you lie. Just ignore her. It's youthful exuberance. What kind of useless exuberance is that? Don't stress yourself over this. Look at that, your vein is pumping out of your neck. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Stop, Joe. <laughs> ah, your battery is fully charged. Though. See the way you are emitting energy on top of this small torch. You are not serious. I don't like being tickled, Joe. But you like this one. Eh, uh, I like this one. What about this one? <laughs> Yes, I like it. Ma'am? Ma'am? Yeah, Sally, what is it? Is everything okay? You seem lost and short. Everything is fine, what is it? You have someone trying to shatter a meeting by the next hour. No, no more appointment today, I have somewhere to be. Excuse me, you can't 
which is going without an appointment. It's okay. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can stay away. All I've been doing since our last talk was think about you. I, I, I might be too forward, but I can try to change. If that will make you not go down the lane you are moving away from. I couldn't stop thinking about you too. I am glad we are on the same page. How do we proceed from here? I was actually the violent person in the relationship. Sexually, I mean. She was just playing along for my sake and she knew I loved her her whole lot and felt that the love I had for her was enough until I proposed. And then she realized she couldn't deal with all that we had for a lifetime. Yes, and it also dawned on me that I needed to be better. Not too long ago, I almost killed someone who acted like he knew what he was doing with me. He had to land in the hospital to realize that I wasn't what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, so. But he moved on fine though. Not many people understand. How did you come to that point where you only enjoyed it with infliction of pain? Well, I came across a porn CD loosely kept around the house. The first thing that hit my face was a woman enjoying it while being flogged. I liked it. I don't know why, but I found it arousing and that was the start for me. Hmm. How have you been trying to be better? I had to see a therapist. It was hard at first to have to explain things, but once I learned the fact that I needed help sinking, I found I could easily converse about it. Hmm. When was the first time you tried this? I know it can be hard to talk about it. It's okay if you don't want to. It's all I've ever wanted to do. To talk to someone. To get a listening ear that would understand. I thought my mother was a safe place to do that, but unfortunately, she was more interested in preserving the man that provided her with shelter and bread at the detriment of her daughter, who was being sexually brutalized by this same man. Oh my, oh my God, your father is the devil himself. My father is dead. He's my stepfather. I not calling him any semblance of father. I know I need help, but I can't seem to help myself in the continuance of this lifestyle. That was put in me as a child. I can't help it. You'll be fine, Bimbo. I promise you. You've got me now. We've got each other. We will pull through. This has been amazing. I can't believe I enjoyed all of this. And they were busy insisting this kind of thing is for only kids. I admit I was wrong and I love it. I love you. I love how you make me feel. I feel at ease with you. I love you, girl. Aww. I'm amazed I'm in this position with you. I am amazed by you, Aminat. Just drop me here and I'll find my way home. Why? I um I just need to see a friend around here. Then I can drop you there now. I may take a long time with her. Then I would wait. I should even meet herself at least to know one of your friends. No. I will arrange another meeting for you two to meet when we have crossed to a very serious step. You think we are not in a serious step? That's not what I mean. I just feel that our relationship is still young. And I don't want anyone to put their eyes in our relationship and try to spoil it. You know your father is very popular. Once she knows who you really are, I don't want to imagine what can happen. No one is going to take me away from you. It's easy for you to say, but the onus is on me to protect what I consider dear. Okay, oh, whatever makes you happy. You make me happy. I had a wonderful time today. I love you. I love you too. How do I keep up with this one now? Wow. 
where are you coming from? What kind of question is that? Don't I have the right to go out and come back as I please? You do actually, but as a responsible married woman, you should be able to discern when to come back home. Do you know what the time says? If you don't know, it is past 10 p.m. It's a different case if you were walking, but you are not. So where are you coming from? That is what you should have asked for first, rather than all these unnecessary rants you are making. Now I am ranting, eh? Hey? Anyway, if you must know, I went job hunting. I am bored out of my mind staying at home and I decided to do something about it. So, I decided to job hunt. You didn't tell me this before? At what time would I have told you? When you come back home late and eat dinner like you are being forced to eat my food and move straight to the bed. Is that the time you would have listened to me? <sighs> you know, I'm doing all this in my power to provide the needed comfort for us. And our unborn kids. Anytime I talk about kids, you always act uninterested. Do you hate kids? That's a ridiculous thing to say. Why would you think I hate kids? Because you always act that way. I just don't want you to worry about something you can't control. That's all. So, how was the job hunt? What companies did you go to? The job hunt is fine. As for the places I went to, you know when I'm offered the job. Excuse me. Hello, darling. My love, you've gotten home? Yes, just did. I'm so tired. Too much talk wears out the body now. What? I'm sure you girls did a lot of gossiping now. I don't get. The friend you went to see, didn't you guys talk? Oh, oh, yes, yes. My friend and I had a lot to talk about. But I had to cut it short because I started feeling tired all of a sudden. Sorry, dear. You should have some rest. We equally had a long day together. <laughs> yeah, we did. I loved every bit of it. I did too. Hello? Are you there? Yes, love. Sorry, there is this girl disturbing me for an appointment with her boss. She does not seem to understand the idea of, I don't have time. Hope she's not trying to get you into her pants. Somebody is jealous. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> no one can get me into their pants. I got my eyes on only you. <clears throat> She's calling again. Let me answer her, babe. I love you. Me too. I want to hear the words, dear. I love you too. What? I can't hear you. I said I love you. I can't hear it very well. Why are you whispering? I'm a shy person. <laughs> Come on. Love removes every spirit of shyness. I love you. Much better. <laughs> shy, shy baby. Let me leave you to rest. Sweet dreams, love. Good night. Are you still hungry? Please, I just want to sleep. Leave me alone. Hello, young lady. I will not condone such insolence from you just because you want to set up an appointment. How dare you call me by this time? I'm so sorry, sir, but... Exactly. That is what you should be. Don't disturb me again. Good day. Good day, madam. You are welcome. Thank you. How may I help you? I need a one-bedroom apartment. Okay, that won't be difficult. I want the kind that is furnished already, specifically a service apartment. All I just want is to move in with my clothes. Hmm, it's difficult to find around here. Who. Are you saying I should go? I said it's difficult. I didn't say it is impossible. So? I will look around and get back to you. Let me have your number. Name? I'm in Nat. Miss or Mrs. Is that important? I just want to know how to save the number and refer to you. Just I'm in Nat is fine. I need this apartment as soon as possible. I will definitely get something for you. I decided to introduce her to you. 
Are you ready to do this? I don't know. I, I just want I just want to be, you know, normal. Therapy does not guarantee that you'll be normal, but it sets you on the path to find solutions to underlying problems affecting our lives and it helps you be in control of your emotions. Mm. I think I'm ready. I hope I get a referral bonus from this. <laughs> but of course, please feel free to grab a cupcake at the reception on your way out. Really? Is that the best you can do? I was thinking you'd probably give me like one session for free. I can't wait to have you alone without the third party. I hope you know that didn't come out right at all. Dixon! Don't worry, Bimbo. I'm getting used to his ways. <laughs> <laughs> we should be on our way. Alright, have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you for trying with me. I told you I got you. <laughs> that's very sweet of you to say. I understand that it must be difficult to be understood. And that's why I feel like I'm the best person to be with you at this time. So, you are with me out of pity? No, that's not it. You know I enjoy your company a lot. I don't think I eat that from you. <laughs> what? Why are you blushing? Eh? Nothing really. Come on, talk to me now. I'm just glad I met you. <laughs> me too. It's weird how I connected with you on the first day we met. Then next thing, you wanted to push me to die or pee. Forgive me for that. I thought that was the only solution to curing how I was feeling about you. Abigail also saw reasons with it. You sought her permission. Not like permission. I just like to run things by her sometimes. She's been a very good friend to me in moments I needed someone to talk to. Uh uh. Someone who is under your payroll is a friend you talk to about personal things? Yeah, it happens sometimes. That was why I had to stop you from calling her smarty the last time. I'm sorry about that, but she had that air around her. Anyway, she's just a friend as well as my staff. I see. Why are you frowning? Didn't realize I was frowning. You look beautiful when you frown though. <laughs> Your laugh is also beautiful. Wow. Please just go. We could go to my office together. So we can look over the contract and make a deal. Is that okay? Deal with me. I am your Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Not serious at all. <laughs> <laughs> So, Chief Frankfurt is threatening to pull out his shares from the company. In addition to the threat, he claims to take others with him too. What the hell is this man's problem? What do you think about it? I think he's bluffing. And honestly, we shouldn't pay attention to him openly. You mustn't look like you're moved by the threat, sir. Hmm. We will talk about that later. For now, I would like us to take a look at the contract right here. I thought you said you didn't want to deal with her directly. It's fine now, Abigail. Sit. First of all, do you like the design plan she came up with? If he didn't, we wouldn't be trying to have this conversation. Can I take a look at the design, please? Sure, no problem. You could also give her the soft copy to look through, too. That wouldn't be necessary. Purple is not his best color. He likes black more. So, we should paint his house black because he's a chief priest and ambassador for a cult group? <laughs> You don't have to necessarily paint the whole house black. There should be elements of black infused in it. <laughs> black is not really a color that is a favorite. I just feel comfortable wearing black because I don't have to stress myself thinking of how to combine one color with another color. So, basically, you're a lazy ass man. <laughs> when it comes to clothes, I agree. What about the other, you know? <laughs> don't even dare go there. <laughs> Fine then. I don't think this floor design fits well with his kind of person. Couldn't you come up with something more royal like? I have one floor design on my phone that could. Dixon, do you remember this section of the floor? Hmm. Why would I forget? Perhaps we should try that spot again. Why are you like this? <laughs> this is what I was. Listen, Abigail. Abigail, right? 
he just wants you to look at the terms of agreement not talk about his choice of decoration in a house that you definitely won't live in so stick to the script where he says you should look at the contract uh okay then <gasps> it's uh is this the amount that she proposed yes very cheap right actually it's i know but i am doing it as per first time basis please let's be over with this you know we still have that thing we need to deal with thank you i look forward to doing your space i look forward to getting my space done by you dixon your peer looks like someone that wants to say something abigail do you have something to say no N no problem nothing okay then let's go for that thing we need to do finally oh. um we haven't discussed the frankfurt issue don't worry we'll do that later i don't think i like that your pa why her aura the vibe i get from her like i don't like it she seems to be all up in your business <laughs> but that's her job that's why she's my pa she do overdo her beg abigail is just looking out for me too much maybe but she's passionate about her job and does it well mm. oh. okay oh. Mm. so you don't know how to call somebody abby why should i be calling somebody that went on vacation with husby Imagine if I call at a time that you're busy on the ground call. Nonsense foul. I just didn't miss you anyhow, Smosha. What have you been up to? Nothing more. Sweetie, why are you leaving me hanging now? Do you want me to go soft before... Hey! Hey! I'm on a call, uh, before you go and expose us finish. What you're supposed to be calling is right here. Ha! Alakuba. Bimbo. Eh? We talk later. Eh? Bye-bye. <laughs> What's that? My friend though, she went on a second honeymoon and is calling to say hi. Hmm, second honeymoon. Not many marriages get to have the luxury to think towards that. By luxury, I don't mean material things though. I get the peace and love a marriage you have. Yes, people are mostly thinking of how to get out rather than having a second honeymoon. Some did not even get to experience a first honeymoon self. From marriage, you just jump right into the bad blows of the marriage. Some even started from the dating stage. What's your idea of a good marriage? Where love and friendship exists. That's all? Yes. I guess I was expecting a long speech. <laughs> <laughs> love and friendship, I feel, would be got all the things a relationship would need to thrive. But wait, what about you? What's your idea of a good marriage? Bimbo, are you okay? I don't think I've ever thought of getting married. I've always just wanted to get beaten and get laid. It's me. You don't have to feel shy talking to me. My last relationship was a mess. He had me whenever he wanted to and just disappeared. And I always seemed to fall for it. Or maybe fall for the desire he could fulfill in me. Hey, you don't have to feel bad about anything. Just focus on trying to get better. I feel like you're my therapy. <laughs> <laughs> now let's decide where to go to. A restaurant, a beach, or a resort. Hmm. Hello? Hello, Aminat. Yes, have you seen something for me? Yes, madam. Can you come to my office now so we can go check it out? Okay, I'll be in an hour. Okay. Hey, darling. Hi, baby. How is work? I didn't go to work today. Not feeling so well. Oh, darling. I'm so sorry. You didn't tell me. I'm actually missing you. Do you mind coming over? Um, I actually didn't plan on going out today. Do you want me to come over? I could really use your company. I wouldn't want to stress you. You said you are not feeling well now. Don't worry, I'll come over. Okay, baby.
Why are you looking like you've seen a ghost? Aren't you glad I'm home? No, no. I was just surprised you're home early. I was thinking about you and decided to come spend some time with you. Oh, really? <laughs> you look like you're going out. Yeah, I wanted to go see a friend of mine. Oh, that friend of yours you're always going to see? Hey, let's go together so I can finally meet her. Why? It's good for me to know your friends now. What kind of husband would I be if someone should ask me to point out my wife's friend and I don't know any? The kind of husband that stays out of his wife's business. Why so difficult? Why such a pry? Do you want to know my friend so that you can marry her? Why do you sometimes talk out of points like this? Who talked about marriage now? Isn't that all what your mother has been talking about? Threatening to marry another woman for you, to give you a child. Fear God, oh. What exactly have I said now that warrants you spewing all this nonsense about a second wife? I only said I wanted to see your friend. Fine. I'm not going to see my friend again, oh. No. Case closed. Matter sealed. What exactly do you want from me? I haven't asked anything from you in the first place except that you give me a child. See this woman, oh. Am I God? I have told you not to bother yourself about this issue. When we will have kids, we will have kids. I don't have time for this issue. Go away. That's all you always do. Walk away as usual. What do you want me to do? Eh? Stand on your head and pound your head with talks of how you have not given me a child? Why are you just determined to make life hell for me and for yourself unnecessarily? Now you are calling me the devil, Abby. It's like they've cooked your brain and gave you to eat, Abby. In fact, you can go wherever you want to go. I made a mistake coming home by this time. Whatever. You are just using this as an excuse to meet your whore. Go. Go to her. Nonsense. Hey, can I still be able to meet up with Agent and Ojo today? I have to go get that house first before I meet him again. This place we do. The furniture looks new. How did you get this place so quickly? Yes, I had a connect that had the apartment, but just had to furnish it to meet your needs. I see. So how much is this place? 1.5 million naira per year. That's too much. Uh-uh. It's even cheap. You can't get service apartment around here. The 1.5 is excluding my own agency fee. Including your agency fee? I can pay 1 million. Ah, Rarao, do you want to meet the owner of the house and be pricing rent? Mm. Hello, darling. Where are you now? Baby, let me call you back. I'll have to get back to you soon. Let me see what I can do. Okay. But hurry up, Shah. There isn't two of this type. Hello, dear. Hello, love. It's getting late. I had to attend to something. You could just come and spend the night with me then. That's the problem. That something I had to attend to was a friend I went to pick up. She just came into town. She's going to be spending the night. I can't just leave her. I was really looking forward to seeing you. Aww. Don't worry, love. I'll see you tomorrow. How are you feeling now? Still not feeling well. You had a cure in your hands, but you have refused to give it to me. Don't talk like that, dear. My hands are really tied right now. But remember that I love you, and that should be enough to suit your soul. It is, but I still want to see you. And you will, my love. I love you. 1.5 million per year. How do I sniff the money out of this man now? But we seem to be drifting. We need to spend more time together. I know, we just have to make our time for ourselves. I miss that too. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Eh, uh -huh. I caught you now. Is that the woman you intend to have as a second wife? Is that the woman you left the house to see? Eh, uh, you... Listen, you husband snatcher, come home wrecker. In this age and time, you want to be a second wife? Hello, Aminat. Eh... Uh... Um, this is Dauda now. What is going on? 
Who wants to snatch your husband? Ah, good evening, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I misunderstood. The way he was saying, we need to spend more time together. And I miss that. I thought he was talking to a woman, sir. Please, don't be angry. I mean not. We are just talking about how we miss brainstorming fresh business ideas. We've just been so swamped with making money off our present deal. Yes, I understand now, sir. I'm really sorry for the intrusion. I'll give the phone back to my husband now. Take. You see your life? Yes, she's gone. Guilty conscience is not a good thing, no. Anyway, how do I get this money now? Thank you. Enjoy your stay. <sighs> Before I figure out how to keep up with this lie, let me do this first. Now, let's write this script that features Ojo and I. I feel so happy these days. It's as if Dixon has been the missing element in my life. <laughs> don't get me wrong, go. I have two great friends who are the best. But I don't know, with Dixon, it just feels like, you know, I, I don't know, it, it feels so... Different? Exactly, different. But in a good way. You're saying something good, but your disposition is saying something else. I just don't want to mess things up. Why do you think you would mess things up? Because I know you used to be like me. And he's trying to get out of it. And I feel like I might draw him back into it. Maybe you would. What are you going to do about it if you do? I don't want to think about it. Maybe you should. It sounds like you don't want the two of us together. Are you two together? Well, not like together, but we've definitely had a moment. These moments, do they define together for you? Well, kind of. Then that means your touch with the person you're trying to get rid of is still very much there. What does that mean? The person you're trying to get rid of would encourage and be okay with a fling as long as you found some form of attraction with the person. However, the person you are trying to build, to change into, would understand that a verbal commitment of a relationship is the one thing that would define togetherness. It's as if I'm getting your point, but I'm lost. I am saying that if you think these moments you've had with him qualifies you both as being together, then you have a long way to go in becoming that person you want to be. I just want to be normal. You have a long way, darling. But one step at a time, you'll get there. I like what I am looking at. What? There's nothing there, Jerry. Something that nature used iron to flatten. Stop whining me. See grabable package you are calling flat. Please, this is how I like it, I beg. Leave it for me like that. Before you analyze the rest of my body, welcome to my humble abode. Finally. Nice place. Not up to your standard, I know, but thanks. Just one picture of you. I like to keep things simple. You should stop comparing standards here. You are doing well for yourself and that is what is important. 
You are so sweet. Where did I stop in analyzing your body? I would like to go further in my analysis. Mm. So, you have a meeting with Demfort today by 2 p.m. 2 p.m.? Why are you just telling me? But I sent you a reminder this morning, Dixon. Oh, I completely forgot. What's the meeting supposed to be for? Getting them to buy into the proposed reality show for next year. Oh, that can wait. I have already fixed an appointment with Ojo Adegbite himself. And if you cancel it, I get another appointment for Dixon Adeleye himself. Simple. It was hard to get him, Dixon. I went through hell. But you are back ill and arty and fixed to go back again. <sighs> I don't like this. What? Your recent lackadaisical attitude to work. It's becoming so obvious. You know you need to take a chill pill. Relax and be taken care of. Tell your mom to take you out and treat you to a massage. In fact, you can take the day off. Call him and tell him to give you some today. You sound like you need it. Why are you talking like you don't know I don't have a man in my life? Oh boy, no wonder you've thrown yourself into work, work, work. You're complaining about me doing my job? No, no, no. I like you doing your job. I mean, that's why I pay you so well. But I also want you to have a life apart from the job. Mm, let me see how I can help you. I have some single friends. I should introduce you to some of them. Are you not single? Why not introduce me to you? <laughs> Abigail, your sense of humor is returning. I like that. Actually, I wasn't Joe. Hey, big thing. Don't tell me I'm late there. Actually, you're right on time. I mean it, Abigail. You should follow my advice and take the day off. See you later. Don't let me get used to this your gentleman life and drop it halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always gentle, B. B? Hmm. I like the sound of that. Ooh, that was good. I can't even feel my legs. I hope I can still be able to walk like this. But that is the goal, man. I feel good about that. Your goal is to paralyze me. Temporarily. You are so not serious. <laughs> I feel like being in your arms forever. Yeah, yeah. But you have to go now. Why? I could spend the night here. You have to be at work tomorrow. What clothes will you change into? I am the boss. I could still get to work when I can. You still have to go though. We are not married. I don't want neighbors to start gossiping that a single girl is harboring a man overnight in her house. That's a silly thought and would define how dumb they are. You are not a kid. If you start sleeping overnight here and things don't work out between us, what do you think they would say if I move to another relationship and do the same thing? I don't see us not working out. Do you? I don't know. Men can be full of surprises. I want you to meet my father. Does that prove how serious I am with you? <laughs> you can't be serious. But I am. He wants to meet the woman I am serious with. You are serious who? Do you think I am here for jokes? I have joked around most part of my life. I am not doing that again. What's on your mind? I'm sorry I doubted your seriousness, but I feel we are moving too fast. Not when I know what I want. Let's just hold on for a while and know each other better. Marriage is for a lifetime. I can't wait to begin a lifetime with you. Let's enjoy each other's singleness first, okay? Ah, <sighs> if that's what you want. I won't force you, okay? But first, you have to leave tonight. Ah, <sighs> you just want to chase me away. Fine, I will go. Enjoy your night, dear. You too, love. Drive safe. I'm so sorry. It's just that an emergency came up. It was a matter of life and death. 
please, we have to reschedule the appointment. I know he's busy, but I'm sure you can fix my boss in somewhere. Please. Okay, thank you. I'd be expecting a feedback. <sighs> what is it about this bimbo girl that is now intoxicating him to the extent that he would ditch an appointment? Ah! All my previous efforts cannot be wasted. There has to be something to be done here. <laughs> this is not a bad place to start. Welcome, Minister for Enjoyment. What does that mean? It's not Minister of Enjoyment that will be coming back by this time when she does not have a job. I don't have strength for your annoying banter this night. I want to see a friend. You just supported my claim that you are the Minister for Enjoyment. Whatever. Before you go, please, did you happen to withdraw 2 million naira from my account? What are you trying to call me now? A thief? No, now. I was just asking a question. What kind of question is that? What am I going to do with 2 million naira? Do I have a business I want to start or did you see any expensive gold on me? Calm down. There is no need to shout. Why wouldn't I shout when I have now graduated to being called a thief? Oh yeah, don't be angry. Maybe I spent it on something I can't remember. Please oh, it is the 300k you give me every month that I use for myself and the house. Don't ask me this kind of question again. I'm sorry, no vex now. Leave me alone, I want to sleep. No food for me. Go and make one for yourself for a change. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. No problem, ma. So, what brings you here? Well, um, my name is Bemi Sola. I'm in charge of recruitment for the base PR company. We received an eligible candidate for employment. Her name is Bimbo Adefowoye. Bimbo Adefowoye? I'd have to check the records. But what do you need exactly? Well, it's a company policy to run background checks on potential employees, you know, to ascertain their credibility. I just need to know if she's who she says she is. Hmm. Bimbo Adefowoye. There's no record of that name here. Really? Uh, can I check through the picture list? I should be able to recognize her. Sure. This, this is the person I'm talking about. Her face didn't change much. This is Fumi Akinpoju, not Bimbo Adifuwi. <laughs> I'm sure she's the one. I remember her. She was a very quiet girl in an unusual way. What do you mean by unusual? It was a kind of quietness that came enveloped with fear. The fear in her eyes was so obvious that I had to go visit her home to find out if there was any reason from home that made her look so scared. And what did you find out? Nothing. Her parents said there was nothing wrong. And truthfully, they looked like responsible parents. Can I get the address to her house? You should have the address on her resume. The address on her resume is her personal apartment, not her parents. To go to this length to find out about a person. Oh, we deal with a lot of high profile people, so we don't like to take any chances on employees, so we leave no stone unturned. And yes, it is a high paying job. Okay, I'll get the address for you. I should have it here. Sorry, please, I'm looking for the Akin Poju's house. Akin Poju. Akin Poju ke. Yes, they have a child by the name Fumi. Hmm. Akin Poju's house. Let me enter the car and show you. Okay. 
go straight and take the next turn. Are you a journalist? Uh, why do you ask? A lot of reporters were coming to take record of the incident. Oh, sorry. I just thought you were one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> this incident must have really been terrible. The worst. I wonder if the police had caught up with her. She fled after the act and no one could trace her whereabouts. Stop here. That's Fumi Akinpoju's home. I knew Fumi was possessed when I saw her watch the house blow up and she was laughing before I saw her vanish. She couldn't have done it intentionally. Why did she run? Fear? Far from it. I feel she killed her father intentionally because I personally saw her with a jerry can running away while the man was screaming. Just before the fire must have got to their cooking gas and brought the whole building down. Thank God the people in this building were not at home at that time. You can see the little effect the fire had on their part. What about her mother? She was out at that time, came back to meet the incident and a missing child. Where is she now? I don't know. I don't think anyone around there knows. What if she was just a child that made a mistake and was scared of the consequences? Fumi and I attended the same school. Adimino was nothing short of someone possessed by evil spirits. Besides, I know what I saw and there are a lot of people who feel the same way I do. Hmm. What's your name? My name is Nikita. I hope I was able to help whatever it is you are trying to investigate. <laughs> More than you know. Mm. Hello? Baby, where are you? I am in front of your house. I thought you said you were home. I was. I was caught by one of my clients. You didn't tell me you were coming. I didn't plan to, but I was nearby and decided to come and see you, baby. That's so sweet, but next time, let me know before you come over to avoid meeting my absence. My bad, my bad. I'll try to remember this. So, where do you want me to keep the clothes I got for you now? You went shopping for me? Oh. Uh... It is not all uh -huh, I am interested in saying. I am interested in seeing you and seeing you wear the sexy lingerie I got for you. Ooh. Let me try to hurry these people to attend to me quickly. Okay, I will wait for you in the car. Okay, babe. Going out? Yes, I want to buy a facial serum at the mall. Let's go together then. Why? I just want us to do things together. Perhaps it will make us close again. If you want us to do things together, create them. Following me to a store would only make you look like Tony Umez and his younger brother Ozo. I don't want that. It's as if you enjoy rebuffing every attempt I make to get close to you. Maybe you should try harder. Excuse me, I beg. Let's try this one. You! Dance! I'm sure you can't dance to save your life. What? Don't let your handsome physique deceive you. You can't beat my steps. The only thing I assume all you said is that I'm handsome. The rest is pure fallacy. Let's find out then. Una welcome. Oh my god, the language is in pigeon. This is going to be so much fun. You don't ready? Blair. We never start, but you don't dance like Tulun Tulu. What? My machine is a gender racist. <laughs> I feel like telling your machine to give me a high five. <laughs> I'm so going to disgrace your gender today. Mm. Nice. Great steps, girl. This one never savvy life, bro. We the babe from that dog, Eh? We are babe or dear? Mother. Hello. You need to come to the office right now. Uh. I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm not so sure. It's really urgent. You really do have to come right away. This one still never savvy how to kill Koko. Damn it! What about the Japa? Thanks for the encouragement. Oh. <laughs> Why did they break up with me now? <laughs> oh 
my god, why did you stop? I'm sorry. Abigail said I need to be in the office. It's urgent. That Abigail always finds a way to put her foot in, even when we are supposed to be having fun. Oh, let's go then. <laughs> Thanks, I'll make up for it. You better. You have to admit I'm better than you do. That my machine was just practicing your gender's fake slogan. Riches. You know, that thing you women always say, but hardly do. Women supporting women. <laughs> Dicks in his pain, dicks in his pain. <laughs> Your laughter is contagious. I always want to see you laugh this way. I'm at the office now. Where are you? Right here. You better have a good excuse for dragging me here. I do. Well, then go ahead. Not when she's here. We don't discuss official things with strangers. She's not a stranger. Well, for this discussion, She's a stranger. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? You know, you better get used to seeing me around. It might help you choke on your dislike for me faster. <laughs> now that you brought it up, let me help you with some info that will dissolve your abrasive confidence. Because after I tell Dixon that you murdered your stepfather... Oh, no. Sorry. That you burnt your stepfather alive and probably made your mother homeless. He would see how straddled you are in the mind and tell your sorry behind to dissipate from his view. In other words, my dear, you won't be seen around here that much. Shocked? <laughs> you should be. <gasps> how? Beams, please, could you wait in the car for me? I'll try to make this as quick as possible. So, Speak it out. What do you want to tell me? Where, yeah, madam? Just drive until you're tired of having me in your car. Phew. Seeing those lingerie on you really does something to a man. From your action 20 minutes ago, I can see what it does. That was really intense. I love you, Aminot, so, so much. Me too. Oh, how time flies. When you're having fun. But we can decide to ditch time, baby, if I spend the night here. No way. Come on. We've talked about this. No spending the night till we, you know, have moved to a bigger stage. As if I am the one stopping us from playing at a bigger platform. Everything is in your hands, Aminot. You already know how I feel about you. Good night. Won't you give me a goodbye kiss? Mm, I lost the appetite too. Our wife, welcome home. I had asked of you earlier. I went out to get something. How are you doing? I'm good. You look great. My friend must be taking good care of you. Well, he tries his best. Are you leaving now? I should make something for you to eat. Don't worry. I didn't plan on staying long. I just came to discuss some business interests with your husband. Oh. Don't worry. One day, I'll come specifically to eat your food. <laughs> that would be nice. I have to go now. Why doesn't your friend want to get married? After dealing with trauma from women, he has given up and decided to enjoy his life without them. That's so sad. It shouldn't stop him from still looking for a wife. Well, that's a choice to make. I see you bought more than a serum. I decided to do some underwear shopping. Huh? I want to see them on you. Again? Huh? Which one did I see before? I meant, uh, I tried them I tried them on at the store before buying. Wearing them in my presence is different. You'll see them when you see them. I mean not. Can you just for once, just for once, try to pretend to be some hopeless romantic? I mean not. Can you just for once, just for once, try to pretend to be some hopeless romantic? You think I'm not? Just show me the lingerie and let me see how romantic you can be. Mabel! 
Girl, I thought we were going to wait forever. Why your phone day switched off? Sorry, Jerry. I'm so happy to see you guys. Ah uh ah, -uh. wrong care. Says vacation make you fresh finish. Thank you. <laughs> but are you okay? Your eyes look swollen. Have you been crying? Who's that? You are here. Of course I'm here. I can explain. Yes, you have to explain because I don't understand why you just live like that. What? Why did you go without telling me and then switch off your phone? I, uh, I, the, I, I... I was worried. I'm sorry, I was just bored. Don't run off like that on me again, I beg. At least you should have told me. What did, um... What oh, would Abigail have to tell you? Just some business she could have handled on her own without calling me off from the small time I was having with you. <coughs> <coughs> you girls must always show yourself everywhere. Ah, It's a trademark something. Uh. And a thing of DNA. We have to remind you we are still here. Dixon, meet my friend Ronke Mabel. Ronke Mabel, this is Dixon. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You, my friend, did not tell us the title of the handsome somebody. Title? Eh, uh, the way you called us your friends. We don't know his. Oh, um... Um... He's, um, he's my friend too. Eh. Uh. For now. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> now, man, you big guy. <clears throat> Maybe I beg. I think we have a we have man in our house that we need to cook for. I've cooked and stored it in the fridge. My husband can just warm it if he gets home before me. Oh day, oh day. One minute yourself makes the food sweeter. Are you? Oh, yes. It definitely makes it sweeter. Uh, Bimbo, Dixon, we will play catch up later. I have to go and. Warm food for my hobby. And I have to go and cook later, guys. Okay, nice to meet you guys. Bye, clowns. <laughs> Your friends are definitely the funniest. Yeah. Babe. Mm. Are you sure you're fine? Yeah, just feeling sleepy. We could feel sleepy together. I just want to really sleep. Oh, so in other words, I should go. Yeah, sorry. It's fine. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. I enjoyed being here with you, babe. Yeah, dinner was fun. I wish you could be like this every day. It's up to you. Are you not the one always causing one quarrel or the other? But it's you who always misunderstands me. Sometimes you make it difficult for me to love you. So now I'm the- Hey, I don't want us to go back and forth. I just want us to focus on us, child or no child, because this child issue is like 80% of what causes our issues. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel alone in this. I'm sorry I've been such an impatient wife. Let's start this again.
would have been a perfect picture if your children were behind you and you held hands like this. Mom, you didn't tell me you were coming. Do I need an invitation to see my son? Not an invitation, but a permission at least. You can't just come like that, especially if you're coming is to taunt us about our lack of children. Not taunting you. It is this barren woman here I'm talking to. When are you going? Are you chasing me away? I can't do that. Not by this time anyway. But tomorrow, you are definitely leaving. <clears throat> Good evening, Mao. I didn't get a chance to greet you earlier because my husband was, you know, busy with you. Um, what would you like to eat, Ma? Leave me alone. I'm not hungry. Just a little of your own medicine they gave you and you are losing appetite. <laughs> okay. Babe, you are in the shower already. Yeah. Wanna join me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You sure deserve some in the shower. Something always told me that my moment of happiness was too good to be true. That something was waiting around the corner to take it away from me. There's always something about our thoughts aligning with the universe. <sighs> I don't know if I should tell him. How did you feel doing that at the time? I felt good. I, I was renewed with the thought that there would always be pain in the world. But with that act... I felt I could choose when the pain would come. To control the time and duration of it. I loved the feeling. I never felt guilty about my stepfather. Is that why you loved having it with a tinge of pain? Not a tinge. A lot of pain. And yes, now that you mentioned it, I somehow thought if I could be in control of that, I was somehow spitting on my stepfather's face. I, I know it doesn't make sense. In essence, your sexual life being that way was your way of paying your stepfather back, which means that you didn't think his murder was enough punishment? I think so, but I've been making so much progress lately. Dixie makes me want to be the version I might have been if my stepfather hadn't happened. And now this person threatens to end all these good feelings by exposing your ugly past. A past I thought was successfully relegated to the background. What do you think Dixon's reaction would be if he finds out? Horrific! I feel he'd be horrified by it and cease to see me in the light he sees me now. Hmm. What if this lady was just bluffing? I mean, she ended up not telling Dixon about it. I think you shouldn't bother telling him. I don't, I don't know what she wants to gain from it. I love Dixon. Oh my god! Did I say that out loud? Hey there! Hey! Who are these gifts for? For you! I wanted to get one, but I couldn't decide which one, so I bought all of them. Oh my god! Thank you so much! Wear one of them and look gorgeous! I've set the table for dinner. You want to cook? Nope. Do you want to eat poison? <laughs> I bought a special delicacy for us. Okay then, I can't wait to see this. This food is lovely. What restaurant did you get it from? Somewhere expensive is all you need to know. Hmm. This one that you are spoiling me like this. What is different? Because I know that I did not do any aphrodisiacs on you. And you don't need to. I just wanted to be more of a husband to you from now on. I just hope it doesn't go unrequited. If you continue to treat me like a priority like this, why not? I'm glad. Jesus, where have you been? 
I have been worried sick. I went to your place. You are not there. Nobody seems to even know you live in your apartment. Where are you? What's going on with you? Oh, Joe, I'm fine. But something is happening. We need to talk. Okay, uh, baby, you are scaring me. What's wrong? Are you sure you are fine? Let's just see first. Can't we say it on phone? I am too curious right now. I might not survive this curiosity till when I go off work. Okay, fine. It's even better said on phone. Because I don't think I can look you in the eye and say it. Okay, I am listening. Wait, 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 wait. Are you pregnant? Oh, is that what you are scared to tell me? But you know I love you. And it is my intention for us to... I'm breaking up with you. Hello? Ojo? I didn't hear you very well. I said I am. I heard what you said. Why? Just like that? What did I do? What did I do wrong? You did nothing wrong. But uh, I... I have been betrothed to someone from birth. I thought I could wiggle my way out of it, but there are traditional rights that have been done, making it impossible for me to marry another man, or else both the man and I would run mad. I'm so sorry, Ojo. Why are you just telling me? Eh? Why? Why wait till after I, I have fallen for you to tell me? Is this some sort of uh, payback for the way I treated you on campus? It was never about that. I am sorry, Ojo, but it is what it is. Bimbo. I'm sure you know who's on the line. What do you want? Meet me by 4 p.m. at Chill Spot. And if I don't? Do you want to take that risk, Bimbo? 4 p.m. <sighs> What kind of work did you do here? I don't even understand anything you did. Get out of my office now, my friend. Hmm. Please, is she in? No, she just called me and told me she will be traveling for a year and that I should help her take care of apartments. For a year? Yes, maybe you should call her. The madman be this. What? Ah, leave, leave, leave me alone. Leave, leave, leave me alone. No, where, where, where are you taking me to? Where? No, help, help, leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, help, help, help. This locality must be rid of mad people. I'm here now. So? Uh, 
amazing secondary school. Does it ring a bell? Your mind is the true definition of dark. <laughs> and I do not think any amount of light can dissipate it. <laughs> you burnt your father alive while you watched laughing. Damn! That's really cold, girl. Seems you went through a lot of stress to find out what is none of your business. Yes. Why? Now, you're going to stay away from Dixon. You must not contact him and any business contact must go through me. If he tries to contact you, debuff it. If you don't, this information I hold will be revealed to him. And do you have any idea how he'd look at you? I'll tell you. He'd see you as a heartless that you are. You would disgust him. Whatever emotion he thinks he has for you now would be replaced with fear. And he would be so eager to be done doing business with you. Your brand's reputation is also at stake here. Imagine what it would do to your brand if the news comes out. Stay away from Dixon for me at King Koju. <laughs> How did someone look at you and call you a madman to the extent that they bundled you and brought you to Yaba left? Yaba left! I don't even understand. Allow my mom, my mom love me. Hey! Allow my mommy! My mommy love me! I am a goat, can you see me? I am a goat! Just get me out of here, Dad, please. Eh, uh, that is what I'm trying to do. But they say they need to ascertain your sanity before letting you out. So, I will spend the night here with this man. Ha! Ah, this madman, Dad. Please, please, you have to do something. You, you I know, I, I know you can do something. You, you, you know, I am not mad. I am not. Please don't leave me here. Please, please, uh, please don't leave me here. I beg you, please. I am begging, I'm rolling, I'm begging, please. Don't leave me here, I beg you. Ah, 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 ah. If you continue like this, they will become certain that you are mad, oh. Okay, let me try again, Sha. Please, thank you, sir. Hello? Wait, let me connect Mabel. Mabel, she's on the line. Has she started giving the gist? She didn't just did the connection now. Madam Bimbo, are you not supposed to know that even before we ask, you ought to start giving the gist? It is written. Ask and you shall receive. Continue quoting scripture for us. So. Somebody that does not remember the sign of the cross. Not the talk of entering church is quoting Bible. Even the devil knows the Bible. So? Thank you for admitting that you are a devil. I mean, if not, you will not be prolonging this gist. They will call you devil. What gist are you guys even talking about? Ah, abomination. All this drama you guys are acting safe. That bobo that came to your house that day. Point of correction. I need you to get something straight. You will say, that handsome bobo that came to your house. <laughs> oh, Dixon. Which one is old, Dixon? I'm not really in a good mood right now. Maybe later I'll gist you guys. What's wrong? Nothing I can't handle. I have to go now. What then can we say to these things? Except... Alright. Take care of yourself, oh. But what kind of attitude were you displaying that made people think you were mad? 
How will she just call me and say she's ending what we have? Eh? Just like that. Who is she? My girl. I was planning on introducing her to you very soon. And then she just calls and ends and and and, and, and ends things. Ah. Hello, Maje. So it is because of a woman you started acting crazy? I wasn't acting crazy. I wasn't. I was only venting my anger and those stupid idiots picked me up. God will not allow you to be used by my village people to disgrace me. Because of a woman, my son was born to Yabalet. When there are thousands of beautiful women out there, who would feel lucky to have you? I'm sorry, sir. Ben was she saw him, my enemies would have had a field day if this news had leaked. Next time you decide to be mad just because of a woman, do not mention your name as Ojo Adegbite. You can mention Ojo Okon or Ojo Suwekbe. Anything but Adegbite. Rada Rada. I am officially broken. Her condition was for me to leave Dixon alone, or else she would tell him everything. Hmm, I do find your story rather interesting. And it leaves me curious, how did you survive on your own after you ran off? That's a story that led me into the world of selling my body for money. Tell me. What are you doing here? I was going out of my mind, worrying about you, and here you are, ill and happy. What with not picking my calls, Bimbo? Did I offend you? Are the workers at the house not working efficiently? Is there something amiss? What is amiss is you acting like we are in some sort of business relationship, and- But we are. What we have between us is a business relationship and should stay that way. I don't understand. But what about the moments we've- They were mistakes. Those moments should never have happened. And from now onwards, we should keep things professional. Strictly professional. Bimbo, what's going on? Talk to me. Do you have anything to say? Any complaint about the work? No. Bimbo. In the absence of none, I need to retire to my room. I've had a really stressful day. One would look at this face and think the weight of the whole world is upon you. It is. You have problems beyond running this firm? Bimbo is beyond running this firm. I don't understand. I thought we had something special going on between us. And she just goes from 10 to a 0. Like, telling me she wants to keep things professional. I have not been able to close my eyes since she told me last night. Maybe she was just after getting the contract. You know how ladies can lead you on just to get what they want? I doubt that very much. I don't see her as that kind of person. You know what? I think you need to get your mind off this bimbo lady. And I know the perfect plan for that. What? Berkeley off the bench to save a league point on Saturday. Some have been here and done it and suffered it before De Rossi is amongst those do you really think though that he is mm. Ronaldo the week is it the pig that lives here or a human being sir I didn't know you would be coming I would have made an effort to tidy up just look at the way you look you smell you have smell what has come over you I am sorry sir you have not been to work for the past one week and this is what you have been philandering your time doing I have not been feeling well. A sick man playing video games. What is wrong with you? So, because of a woman, you want to turn yourself to what street people will call the son of a vagabond? When I am not a vagabond? Ah! Is it the kind of emotional intelligence you intend to use to run my business when I am not here? I thought you have changed. I thought you were trying to make me proud. I want to make you proud, sir. By acting like a smitten dog that they refuse giving bone to. Now, before I open my eyes, you will enter into the bedroom and come out looking brand new. Sir, I... You are still talking. I don't see 
how any of this is going to help me. You don't like clubbing? It's been a while. <laughs> well, let me remind you how this works. Let's start with the shots, shall we? Good, right? Let's go again. Leave the bottle for us. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is my jam. <laughs> I love it too. Relax. Nothing happened. Is that why you want to jump out of your skin? <sighs> I was feeling body pains from sleeping on the couch, so I had to come here. I'm leaving. It didn't even click at all. Even in his drunken state, he still refuses to have anything to do with me. If not that I need this to work, would I be expending so much energy trying to make this to work somehow? When you are eating like this, hope all is well. Now you are monitoring my eating, Abby. No, now it's just that it's as if you are eating for two people, as you did not even remember that your sweet husband is around. And you didn't say anything about needing food. I would have brought for you. <laughs> okay, I need food. Now you are talking. It's just that it's as if you are eating for two people. It's as if you are eating for two people. Here. Are you okay? Yeah, just tired. <laughs> Why won't you be tired when you've been eating as if the last battle between good and evil will happen tomorrow? Excuse me. I have to go and see Dauda. He just called me for a business meeting. A business meeting he didn't arrange for before now? You know these things can be impromptu now. Okay, oh, later. Uh, I even want to eat his own food too.
all these Nepa people safe. Hello? Aminat, please, let's talk. I am going crazy here. We were, we were heading somewhere and suddenly you just stopped and said um, you are no longer going again. But I explained why. I don't want any why. I just want you to come back. Come back to me. I'm sorry, that cannot happen. And please stop trying to use different numbers to call me. <laughs> this cannot be. I should check at the hospital first. Don't drop that here, please. Take it to the dining area. Well, Mr. Dixon, if we keep at this pace, we should be through in, say, three months. For God's sake, Bimbo! Will you stop treating me like I'm some distant cousin of yours? I am here to do the job you paid me for. Why should you be complaining? Because we weren't restricted to business, Bimbo. Damn it! Are you intentionally trying to frustrate me? Forget about- Don't you get it? I can't forget anything. You are all in my space. My head, my heart, my spirit, my body, the air I breathe. It's Bimbo, Bimbo, Bimbo. Talk to me. What have I done wrong? I- Wow! This place is really beginning to take shape. Abigail, what are you doing here? I just wanted to see how work was coming along and I can see it's doing pretty well. Make sure you finish what needs to be finished for today. What continues tomorrow? What's the... We are not done with the discussion now. Please talk to me. How does it make sense that you make someone who has done you no wrong suffer like this? You are the one who chose to suffer. I simply said I wanted to keep things professional between us. But why do you want to cut off the other part that was brewing between us? I am a grown woman. I don't think I owe you an explanation over my choice. What do you even see in that lady that makes you feel miserable without her attention? You can't understand. Try me. How do I try to make you understand something I don't even understand? Dear, welcome back. I missed you. I missed you too. Something smells good around here. Yeah, come have a seat. I prepared something special for you. Wow. To what do I owe this pleasure? To new beginnings. Hmm, I like that. I am salivating to dig in, you know. Go ahead. So, I am pregnant. <coughs> Water! <coughs> Water! Sorry, I just found out I am pregnant. I was also shocked. Ah uh ah, -uh. you are saying it again? I don't get. I thought you didn't know what you said the first time. I am sure. I went to the hospital for a pregnancy test after I doubted the PTS result. This is the result. How did you get pregnant? No. 
Holy Spirit descended on me and got me pregnant. Instead of you to be happy that we finally have a breakthrough, you are asking me stupid questions. I'm just curious, is this real? I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up for... You know what? Never mind. You guys are now making it a habit to visit without calling first. When you won't pick calls, uncle. You called? 34 times combined. Oops, sorry. I left my phone on silent mode. Are you okay? We're worried about you. Oh, um... And don't even try to feign being fine. We know you're not. Let's just go inside first. Was there any problem at the... Phew! You just told me in that case that you've been bluffing since. Why do you want to deny us this? <clears throat> Whatever you think is here is all in your imagination. What? I just want to maintain a business relationship, Dixon. What is so hard to understand about that? Why? What changed? That's all I'm asking for. Nothing. Except it's the choice I made. Choice is always pushed by an action. If I have offended you, Bimbo, please forgive me. I am going out of my mind after everything we've shared. I've told you all I want to tell you. I would return the money you paid for my therapy. You don't need to. Well then, please leave. We will see at the side or if you have any concerns about the ongoing work. Excuse me. Okay, you need to start talking. What is really going on? And you must not lie about anything. I'm sorry for the way I reacted, Aminat. I didn't mean to water down your joy. My joy? Our joy. It just came as a shock to me, and I had to process the idea of being a father. But this is what we want, right? <laughs> yes! Y yes! I'm going to be a father! <laughs> and I'm going to be a mother, and your mother can stop choking my throat. <laughs> and that too! It's really a new beginning for us, darling. Yeah, it is. So, he's been all that to you and you don't want to talk to him? Because I am trying to avoid getting too attached to him. When I think he won't want me, when he finds out the truth about me. The truth that you are beautiful, intelligent, strong. You don't have to be scared to find true love in a normal person. You don't understand. I did something really horrible. You guys don't really know me. I am a horrible person. The fact that you've done something horrible in the past doesn't make you a horrible person. No, seriously, I am. I know that because I didn't even feel any iota of remorse after I did it, even till this very moment. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. Don't even bother increasing the tempo of that crime, or else. Stop! <laughs> now, get out. Get out now! a drunk sleeping man to death and 
I felt no remorse. I felt nothing. What is more horrible than that? It, it, it wasn't your fault. Oh my God. The man is a beast who terrorized you. That was the only way you could think of to save yourself. And now, trying to save myself has made me lose Dixon. Not yet. You've not lost him. He said you told him about what you went through with your stepfather. And he tried to help you rather than condemn you. It's only fair that you tell him everything rather than leave him in the dark. God, you've gone through all this and you're still standing. Ha! Bimbo, why didn't you let us know about this? You were carrying these burdens alone. I felt it was better to pretend it hadn't existed. I, I thought it was working until I met Dixon and he made me feel I needed to be better. You need to let him know, babe. You owe him that much. I don't think I can. But you don't need to rush the decision. Thanks for not judging me. George Whitson, now we bring you come this life. We're here for you, darling. The door is open. Dixon, I've been calling your number and you're not picking up. I was worried about you. Well, as you can see, I am fine. Why didn't you come to the office then? This is the second day. And you usually tell me when you're not coming in. What's going on? Nothing is going on. I just didn't want to come to work and deal with any human. I just want to be left alone. You should have just told me that. Anyways, have you eaten? Let me see if I can make something for you to eat. Abigail, didn't you hear me? I said I don't want to deal with any human. I just want to be left alone. Including me? Are you not human? Uh, okay, I, uh, I'll take my leave. Abigail, Alpha. I'm almost tired. The guy is just proving hard to get. He makes me feel like I'm not alluring enough or something. Now, wow. I mean, it's bad enough that I've had to chase out whatever needs chasing out, yet he still won't see me. <sighs> oh. Okay. Later then. So how are you doing today? I feel like the weight of the world is on me. Why so? Making the decision such as telling Dixon about my past or not to tell him is a heavy one. I thought you've concluded on not telling him considering how he'd feel when he finds out. Yeah, but I feel like I owe it to him. He's the first person I could tell about my past. I feel like I owe it to him to tell him everything. <sighs> Is it not better not to tell him, and he keeps wondering why, than to tell him and remove every doubt of whether he's at fault or not, and turn his emotions from wondering to say, hate? Hmm. Come in. Ah, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, Aminat. How are you? I'm very well, low. I didn't know you were coming. I just had a call that demands that I see you immediately. It's not a phone matter. Hope no problem. No, it's good news. Let me go and prepare something for you to eat. Why you to talk about your business? Oh, no, no, no. Don't stress yourself for my sake, especially not in your condition. You know? Yes. Your husband couldn't wait to tell me. He was super excited about starting a family. Congratulations. I brought this for you. Thank you. I'll leave you men to do your business. I 
have even forgotten about this flash. Is this how much supervision you give to your workers? I don't understand. I've been here for the past hour and I was told you've not been here since morning. Well, if you must know, I have given them the instructions needed and I hired the best hands capable of doing their jobs. If they were so capable, why then would they bring a lilac color instead of a purple drapes for the windows? These are not lilac, they are purple. Is that why you brought them down because I know they had fixed them yesterday? Yes, go get me purple drapes of the best quality. I did not pay you to get anything less. Do you understand? Yes. Get back to work now! <sighs> I have to tell him. He hasn't even posted in a long time. Time up. You are going to work today. I... I'm not taking any excuses. Go and change into something good enough for work. Much better. Am I riding with you or I should bring my car? By all means, take your car keys. This is Dazu. She will be your personal assistant from now. I don't need a personal assistant. Oh, you do. You really do. Dazu is a pretty lady and she is smart too. I'm from a good family. I'm sure the both of you will get along well. He will give you a ride to work. Okay, sir. You need to forget whatever must have happened and move on. Be open-minded to new beginnings. You know, new things. Be open, eh? You can go. Enter, oh, enter, enter. There comes a time when the elders must give a lending hand to the young hands. What do you think you're doing here? At least he is my client. I can see him on a business level. All business meetings must go through me. What do you want to see him for? I have to speak with my clients directly. This is not what we agreed on. What's going on? Bimbo. I need to see you. I don't need Abigail to be here for this. You said it was business. I have to be there. I think you can sit this one out, Abigail. What do you want to talk to me about? You might want to sit down for this. <laughs> 